paghitait yara sa imo kag yara man sa amo O labing makagagahom nga amay namon sa langit. Mahinuklugon nga laon nga tagtugas ang langit, hangin, kalayo, tubig kagduta. Tanda ining imong timawa, kabay ining pag-ampo, magadulot sa amon sa kabuhi nga himaya. Salamat sa mga bugay na imugin paambit sa amon. Salamat sa kabuhi na ginadulot mo sa amon na himpit. Salamat sa maayong na panahon kag ilabinagid sang imo katutom sa amon. Bindisyon ni ang imo katawhan. Bindisyon ni ang ila mga palangabuhian. Bindisyon ni ang mga panggas sa amon mga talamnan. Bindisyon ni ang ilang paglugayawan sa iban nga kapungsuran. Gabay, makalabot sila nga walay sablag sa ila pagapadulungan. Kag ila binagid, bindisyon ni ining isla sang negros nga amon na tawahan.
kinahalad namon ang ining pag-ampo para sa imo kadayawan. Good morning, mayong aga, mayong buntag, and magandang umaga sa lahat. And we would like to welcome you in a special way in this very inspiring morning where we are going to talk about how a brother artist actually rises up to any calamity and helps his community himself. So to formally welcome all of you, who have not tired of showing up to our V conferences, our Dason Festival Director, Manny Montilibano. Manny? Hi. Um, good morning. Magandang umaga sa lahat. Um, uh, uh, thank you for attending uh, today's session for the um, Art Initiatives in Challenging Times. Um, but before we proceed, I think I, I would like to talk about um, a short Uh, background of Viva Excon Organization Incorporated. Um, well, the organization continues to support the, the nurturing Visayan artists. Among its activities are inter-island exchanges, strengthening lo of local, national, and international networks, sharing of resources, providing of opportunities for young and upcoming artists, enabling continuing art education, facilitating research initiatives, establishing establishment of partnerships with various sectors of the society and providing Viva Excon host provinces with assistance in management and in organizing events like fundraising events or uh, small exhibitions or um, researches. Um, given the challenges of this pandemic, um, the organization now aims to utilize existing networks and invest in the future's projections. No? And um, um, to continue, <clears throat> the, um, the objectives of uh, this XCON is to empower local art practices to be re relevant to the challenges of the changing times, especially these times, to explore opportunities for collaboration and forging of resources among the sectors of the community, to respond to art-related issues proactively, and to design a preferred future for the artist community. So um, VCON, the virtual conference, the series of virtual conferences was uh, de de derived from the recalibration of um, the sun. No? And um, um, the sun is actually, or what now, is in keeping with future studies, which post postulates possible, probable, and preferable futures, and the worldviews and myths that underlie them. So um, this uh, series of conferences and talks uh, seeks to understand the context and circumstance of the art community in relation to the sectors of the community it coexists with, what is likely to continue, and what could possibly change. No? So most of the... Um, the initiative that we have for VCON2 is really focusing on art practice and um, uh, the, uh, the society you know, as a whole. Um, so um, I would like again to welcome and um, please invite your friends, no? um, uh, friends or families or any um, um, interested individual, not only in the Philippines, but the whole world to attend our um, monthly talks. Um, and um, thank you for the resource persons for agreeing to, to be part of this uh, uh, series of conferences. So I hope um, you'll have a fruitful day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Manny. And at this point in time, I think we are already ready to introduce our 
uh, first set of speakers. So we are actually talking about Art Relief Mobile Kitchen, which was founded by photographer Alex Baluyot and cultural worker Precious Liano. Uh, they are the, uh, they, this is an artist-led initiative, and they are volunteers to provide comfort food to survivors of the super typhoon before. Um, if you remember Yolanda or Haiyan to the international community in November 2013, since then, ARMK has evolved to become an independent movement for food aid in the country in times of man-made or natural disasters. So ARMK volunteers cook hot meals in times of war, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, El Nino, storms, and for most people, affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. ARMK cooks for depressed areas or where people are hungry and where food is most needed. So let us welcome our resource persons, Precious Liano and Alex Baloyot. Hello, Precious. Hello, Alex. Hello. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Magandang umaga. Thank you for inviting us. And I think we are ready to hear about their stories. So go ahead, Precious and Alex. All right. Yeah, we uh, we were founded seven years ago, no? After uh, the in the wake of Storm Yolanda, uh, uh, nagreact kami uh, dahil sa mabagal na response din sa government uh, response. Uh, tumuloy kami sa Billiamore Air Base where uh, the evacuees from Tacloban were being flown into by the Philippine Air Force. So. We set up a, that was our first community kitchen dun sa, dun sa Billiamore Air Base. Ano? Uh, maybe we can show the slide, the uh, <clears throat> next slides, yes, there. So that was at the Billiamore Air Base. Yeah, the, the first thing I did was cook coffee for the volunteers kasi 11 o'clock na ng evening yan. Sa Billiamore Air Base po yan, ito Billiamore Air Base din to, ano. Uh, lumaki na lumaki siya when people uh, on social media started seeing us. Uh, nag-blossom na nag-blossom na siya nagdagsa na yung uh, donations at saka volunteers no? okay hold that picture kasi in in um in Villamore when we were there we stayed there for 22 days at um the Villamore Air Base here in Manila no so they kept on the the people from the Visayas were being flown in every two hours, 700 people, every two hours were landing at the airbase. So we kept on cooking. And then 24-7 uh, yung work namin. And the work, dumadami talaga yung mga uh, dumarating people who wanted to help. And we gathered more than 10 tons of food and equipment um, uh, by the time that... Um, 22 days na kami doon. So, what happened next is, Fox? Yeah, next next slide, please. Uh, we decided, no, na since we were called uh, Art Relief Mobile Kitchen, sabi ko, eh, kung mobile tayo, subukan natin pumunta ng ground zero. So, naghanap kami ng uh, may kakilala sa Air Force. Uh, sinakay namin lahat yung goods na na-accumulate sa Billiamore Air Base. All 10 tons, ano, plus yung volunteers namin, equipment, sinakay namin sa C-130 at pumunta kami ng Tacloban. Ito mga litrato na susunod, uh, doon na ho yan sa Tacloban. No? So, yan. so summer na yan. Ito, lumipat na kami ng summer. So after Tacloban, uh, naka, I think 11 days kami sa, ano, we, we serve Christmas dinner no, doon sa Tacloban. So sabi ko, talagang ito, pag ginawa natin to talagang mobile na tayo sabi ko tatawid lang naman tayo ng San Juanico Bridge wait lang yung sled hold lang can you go back there ah uh, tatawid lang naman ng San Juanico Bridge nasa summer ka na eh tinamaan din yung summer na malakas na malakas din ng Yolanda no so sinakay namin sa mga truck yung ano nag-hire ako ng truck sinakay namin naghanap ako ng bahay dun sa Hernani Hernani Samar, a small town in ano, na napuruhan talaga sa Baguio. So, pumunta kami. Ayun, 
I think yun na yung turning point no ng Art Relief Mobile Kitchen. Talagang na-prove namin o na ano namin na kaya talaga maging mobile ng isang kusina. So, to other places in the country as well. So ito yung Ah, uh, nakaano na kami actually naka naka more than 60 missions na kami all over the country to from the top to the bottom of the country. Ah, uh, Itbayat, uh, Batanes hanggang Holo, nakapunta na ho kami. Daladala namin yung equipment namin at nagluluto kami ng hot meals para sa mga tinamaan ng man-made uh, calamities or natural calamities po, no? So tapos uh, during yung time na yon nag-evolve ulit yung uh, concept at saka yung advocacy into building community kitchens. Bakit hindi natin uh, turuan yung mga tao dun sa komunidad na magtayo na sariling ano uh, community kitchen at sila mismo ang magluto, no? Sa so sa in times of calamities Papadala mo na lang yung raw material sa kanila para lutuin. Yun yung naging ano evolution din ng ano uh, uh, ng Art Relief Mobile Kitchen. Community kitchens na siya. In fact, uh, habang tumatagal, isa o dalawa na lang kaming umalis uh, from the headquarters um, to head the mission and then the rest of the volunteers are community based. So we can show some ito, slides. Itong slide na ito, yeah, sa Arakan Valley naman yan, sa, sa Mindanao. Ano? Kasi nagka-drought doon, so pumunta kami. We fed the Manobo community doon sa Arakan Valley. Tatlo lang kami volunteers from Manila yan, pagpunta dyan. Tapos inorganize namin yung mga Manobo with the help of yung uh, uh, local diocese dyan sa, uh, sa, sa Kidapawan. Uh, yun, naka nairaos namin siguro mga five-day feed ho yan. Uh, next slide. Ito naman, uh, eh, alam naman po natin kung ano nangyayari sa Marawi. Ano, uh, we responded within three days of the, ano, kasi we, we were always trying to quicken our response uh, time no, dun, sa, dun sa mga kalamidad. Ano, para kaming mga... Ay, parang ka, para kaming mga firemen no mga bumbero uh, we try to shorten your response time kasi alam alam naman natin pagdating sa alamidad eh talaga kailangan kailangan ng unang una is rescue pangalawa is water pangatlo talaga is food hindi ka makaka uh, function uh, sa rescue sa gera pag walang food so sinusubukan namin Dito, punta kami ng Marawi. Uh, of course, nakita ko na imposible. Imposible pumasok ng Marawi at that time kasi napaka, ano na, gera na talaga. No? It was one of the biggest battles that we ever had seen. Even as a photojournalist, it, laki talaga ng, ano, ng bakbakan. So nag-position uh, muna kami sa Iligan City kung saan pupunta yung mga evacuees. So uh, this is one of the one of the feeding centers or evacuation centers. Next slide. This is uh, after the earthquake uh, sa Davao, ano, yung mga, this is a Manobo uh, refugee camp also. This is after the earthquakes in sa <coughs> Mindanao, uh, sa Davao, sa Davao. Okay. Sunod. Yeah. So, ito naman nung Taal. Oh, Oo. Uh, this is in uh, eruption. the eruption of Taal Volcano um, in last year. no? This is Batangas. about this time. So, this was in Batangas. In the province of Batangas. We stayed there for a long time. Mga oh, sambuan. Oh, okay. yeah, yung Marawi at saka yung Taal so far. At saka itong pandemic, ang mga mahahaba naming... Uh, Oo. Oh, oh. Our missions, uh, kasi pag kailangan pa talaga at meron namang supplies and donations, whether in kind or in cash, may nagpapadala ng tons of vegetables or or meats, we stay on and keep on cooking uh, for them. Nagumpisa kami yung protocol namin. Mas, uh, at least minimum of three days feeding pero habang tumatagal na ho kami eh nagiging ano na yung uh, para kaming uh, nasasanay na yung mga tao na at saka yung credibility namin lumalaki na so patuloy yung pagbigay ng donations uh, in kind at saka monetary so 
humahaba na yung missions namin from 3 days na minimum, nakaka-5, 6, hanggang umabot na sa ano na, 1 month, ganyan, nakaka-stay kami dun sa area. Oo, yung pinakamatagal namin, nag-3 months kami lockdown during the start of the pandemic. Hmm. Uh, actually, kung sa Los Banos, hanggang ngayon ay nagluluto pa rin kami from the start in March last year. Anyway, next slide. We'll go um, uh, through the pandemic later. Ito, uh, uh, Hulo, no? Yes, uh, yung after yung cathedral bombing sa Hulo, uh, syempre, <laughs> ma, uh, medyo mahirap pumunta kasi sa Hulo na napaka uh, delikado ho, no? So, Nakakuha ko ng local partner uh, through through some friends, uh, to friends of friends. Naka ano kami, nakahanap kami ng partner sa Hulo. Nakapunta rin ako, nagbigay kami ng ano uh, sa patikul mismo 'yan sa outside of Hulo. Uh, ano yan, no man's land na ho 'yan actually yung itong area na to. Maglakad ka lang ng 1 kilometer. Uh, iba na yung makakausap mo, no? May baril na at baka huling ka na. Uh, hindi ka na hindi hindi ka na makikita pero dito at least uh, may mga refugees dito na yun uh, nagpakain tapos ang laking bagay rin kasi pumunta ako ron nalaman ko yung uh, culinary uh, traditions ng mga taga hulo no uh, na napakasarap nila po kumain talaga no so <laughs> uh, nag enjoy na, enjoy na enjoy ako diyan sa sa vision na to Next slide. Yan. So in Itogon, Benguet, no, nagkaroon ng uh, landslide doon na napakalaki. So many people were buried under that landslide and we supported the uh, uh, efforts uh, of the rescue teams, both the uh, volunteers, the police, as well as the locals who helped in recovering, well, in the end, bodies. Mm. Actually, so. And it became rescue to ano na, recovery. Oo. Dito rin namin na-try actually nung nagkaroon uh, ng uh, itong landslide sa Itogon Benguet. Siguro mga so many days after, nagkaroon din ng landslide sa Naga Cebu. And uh, this is the first time na dalawang kitchen Simultaneous feeding. Simultaneous. Kasi nakita namin na uh, posible naman na uh, may equipment, merong equipment, at saka may mga volunteers, may funds. So sinay simultaneous yung ano kasi dalawang uh, landslide ang nangyari itogo na at saka yung sa Cebu no so simultaneous so na ano na namin na uh, hindi na kami natatakot na pag may nangyari na multiple ano nakaka ano na kami punta kami nakakadali na kami makaresume kasi naayos na yung ano habang ginagawa mo ng ginagawa dumudulas na dumudulas na yung work no uh, at first syempre nakakalito tsaka ang dami kasi when you're cooking for 1000 people 1000 minsan 2000 the most na linuto namin is for 3000 ano nag 4000 kami for 4000 kami sa Cagayan <laughs> yung Cagayan floods ano uh, kaya medyo nakakalito yan pag hindi mo kabisado pero habang ginagawa mo uh, constant repetition Na ano mo na, linilista mo na yung ano, how many kilos per per 100, yung mga ganun ba. So, ayun. Uh, uh, yung protocols namin, naayos namin habang ano, habang uh, next slide. Habang uh, hands-on, habang na hands-on kami. Ah, ito naman yung ano no, ito napaka magandang culinary tradition din ano, sa sa Batanes to. Uh, we were able to uh, give a vunung, which is a, a community feeding. It's it's really a, 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 a in place na siya within the Ivatans, no? Uh, <laughs> Ipoint out ko lang, Pops. Huh. Tingnan niyo yung mga tao, may hawak silang dahon, oh, yun. no? Yung dahon na yun, na may pagkain yun, dala, yun yung kinuha nila, yun yung food na dinistribute namin. <laughs> Actually, ano yan, yung uh, breadfruit, breadfruit leaf yan na Napakatibay. Napakatibay niya. Ano, Diyan linalagay lahat yung food. Uh, pipila yung buong community. Ito, mga 3,000 ang pinakain ko dito. Uh, ako lang ang mag-isa pumunta dyan. Tapos inorganize ko yung community. Sinabi ko, gusto kong magpahunong. Uh, tinulungan nila ako. No? So, yan. So, 
ma- napakaganda ang tradisyon, no? Pag nasa Batanes kayo, subukan nyo pumunta ng Itbayat, makikita nyo yan, yung bunong na yan. So, uh, a bunong is a, a, a celebration uh, that is held when, during uh, important milestones in the life of a person in the community. For example, when somebody turns 60 years old or there's a baptism or there's a big wedding. So, yun yung bunong. And Tapos, dahil mag-isa uh, lang si Alex uh, noon, uh, napakaganda nung gamitin yung kultura natin uh, for, to, to help us during a time of disaster. So, yung kultura ng, uh, ng bunong ng mga ibatan ay, ay ginamit natin because everybody helps out in preparing the food <laughs> and then everybody brings food. Oo, oh, oh, oh. may take home pa yan. Tapos, Nakita ko diyan dito ako dito ko nakita talaga ang isang pinakamagandang community kitchen they they had about 20 pieces of uh, big big pots and about 20 pieces ng mga ano tawag dito na kawa all for the community to use pwede mong gamitin yon na uh, nakatago lang dun sa isang uh, caretaker the only ano uh, understanding is uh, Pag sinoli mo siya, dapat malinis na malinis siya. So, nung nakita ko yung, yung buong equipment, nagulat talaga. Ang ganda talaga, sabi ko. Nakaka-inspire talaga ang uh, tribal communities in terms of yung community kitchens at saka community saka yung food cooking. Nila. <laughs> saka saka yung food nila. nila. You know, they, they had like uh, turmeric rice, they had caldereta, they had, they, you know, uh, pork steak. Napakasarap. Ang sarap nila kumain talaga. <laughs> okay, move na tayo. Next slide. Uh, parang yun na yata yun for the first part. Okay, so obviously we've been uh, from Batanes to Sulu, no? And uh, so far, I think we've been to more than 24 provinces already in the country. Uh, and more than 55 missions already. Maybe more than 16. 16, 16 missions than 16. already. So, you know, uh, you know, we just wanted to show you a, a map of where we've been. Next slide, please. <clears throat> yun natin, yan. So, we'd like to also show you um, yung how uh, nakita nyo kung ano yung mga pagkain, sino yung mga sinerve natin, no? Ayun, ano yung mga disasters. But we'd like to show you in Marawi, we, we, we made a very, very short video of how we do the work as a community kitchen. So, can we play that uh, video now? So there, uh, uh, back to you guys. So she will like, uh, oh, so, so, oh. ito yung time that, uh, <clears throat> pandemic na ho yan. Nagumpisa na ho yung pandemic. And uh, this is an artwork done by uh, Benji Marasigan for us. So should we move on na to the pandemic uh, times? Yeah, this is a uh, ano na pandemic na sa amin to, no? Yung uh, tinamaan na tayo, March na siguro to. March. March na to. Of 2020, last year. Last year. Ngayon, itong mga nandiyan sa litrato, yan yung mga, kasi February kasi, nag, uh, may nasunugan dito sa Los Baños. Nagbigay kami ng uh, emergency relief sa kanila. Yun na rin yung ginamit kong kitchen crew 
Hanggang ngayon, kitchen crew namin yan dito sa community kitchen namin dito sa Los Baños. Since we were advocating for uh, since we were advo uh, advocating for community kitchens, uh, naisip namin subukan natin dito sa uh, sa ating sariling komunidad ano. So up to now, we still have our community kitchen here in Batong Malaki. Ito Batong Malaki to. After another fire, it was already a pandemic and then there was a fire. So we cook for them. Uh, we so up to now we continue to cook for the community dito sa ano. Marami kasing nawalan ng trabaho after yeah. the pandemic, no? So a lot of the low-income communities in, in many parts of our country, um, lag na problema talaga ng what to bring, what food to put on the table, and we help by doing that. Now, uh, at the time of the pandemic, we were able to mobilize four kitchens. Mm. Have... Uh, Los Baños, uh, Davao and uh, Surigao and uh, Lipa Batangas. Also, uh, sorry, Baklaran, limang, limang kitchen. So, Baklaran, Baklaran, Baklaran Church. Church or the Redemptorist Church in Baklaran, Metro Manila. So, uh, we were able to serve frontliners, locally stranded individuals, and low-income communities as well as COVID patients. Oh, now, pwede you hold yung ano muna? Slide. Yung slide. Oh. Oh. Oh, so, oh. ano, uh, makikita ninyo na yung evolution namin, nakaka-simultaneous kami. Feed. Can you hold the slides first? Uh, stop muna. Yeah. Uh, nagiging kaya na namin mag-simultaneous feeding kahit apat na areas na. Tapos may mga chapters na kami, uh, local chapters, we call them local locals, no? Uh, so we have one now in Davao, Surigao, and Iligan. Mo all of them are in based in Mindanao. So, ayan. Ito. Ayan. Um, nung ito, uh, ay, uh, itong year na ito, uh, bagyo. nagkaroon ng bagyo yung Typhoon Rolly and uh, pumunta kami sa TV Albay where, where it landed. You know, we were going to support uh, the people there to uh, food, hot food for after typhoon Rolly. Pero habang nandun kami, ay nagkaroon naman, ay tumama rin ang typhoon Ulysses. So magkakasunod ang mga magkakasunod ang mga nangyari doon and we had to like, um, cook inside a very very small room kasi we had to seek shelter also from a very strong storm si Ulysses na pakalakas niya no diyan sa TV and this is like uh, our third time in TV Albay to, to cook for them halos every year nagla landing ang bagyo diyan eh. so next slide no ayan yung sa TV ito yung ito yung community of volunteers namin sa TV Albay Ayan. So, next slide. Ayan. Malaking tulong ng, uh, ng mga artists ng uh, Visayas. Okay, oh, the Visayan artists in uh, supporting. Salamat sa inyo. Uh, sa BAA in particular, sa Negros Museum as well, for supporting our work. And we used um, your contributions mm -hmm. to cook for our people were devastated by Typhoon Rolly and the floods that happened soon after in Tubigaraw, uh, in Alcala, and in Peña Blanca, Cagayan. So, next slides. Uh, yeah. Makikita so, niyo yung... So, yung ano, after yung... Uh, yeah, after yung... In the wake of yung Rolly, Storm Rolly, at saka Ulysses, eh di akala namin magpapahinga na kami, no? Uh, kasi, ang haba rin yung... Ano, Yung kagayan naman yung nagka-problema, no? Kasi yung monsoons that were brought by the two storms started flooding Cagayan Valley. So, unti-unti, bumabaha na dun sa area na yun. So, uh, kailangan namin mag-respond, ano? So, uh, yung mga partners namin dito sa Manila, which was uh, gourmet, Gypsy Gourmet at saka yung Project Pearls, uh, we decided na gumawa, gumawa ng relief caravan para concerted effort na siya na you know, uh, magdadala kami mga ilang truck at saka yung mga vehicles, yung mga volunteers 
Dederecho ng Cagayan Valley. Naging partner namin dito is yung ano, si Precious ang naged ng mission. Oh, pitong vehicles. There were seven vehicles that went on a convoy. It became a Cagayan Relief Caravan. We had uh, 10-toners na, na truck, uh, refrigerated vans. Uh, we had vans of, um, there were three sets of chefs who were um, Uh, also working with us at the time from uh, Manila, kaya malaki yung caravan namin. At dalawang uh, beses uh, na nagpadala rin ng, ng relief goods, uh, they were all sa isang restaurant, yung sa Gourmet Gypsy Cafe sa Manila, it became a drop-off point and we were able to bring in throughout our mission na uh, uh, mahaba yung mission namin dyan kasi dahil nga binabantayan din namin yung flooding ng monsoon rains no ay uh, mga 25 tons of uh, relief goods were brought in with the help of uh, the Redemptorist Church uh, kasi meron silang malaking truck ang tawag na namin doon sa truck si Optimus Prime so ayan na ayan na si Optimus Prime dala-dala na niya yung relief goods 8 tons every time it comes in. so makikita niyo no na yung logistical yung log- logistics no We, Uh, natutunan, natutunan namin yung mahusay at mabuting logistics. So once the first the, once the first uh, team uh, arrives there, you can start you can just start to uh, after about three, four, five days, may second wave of uh, raw materials that come into the kitchen. Ay uh, yun naman yung lulutuin mo. So parang uh, relay lang siya relay, nagre-relay lang kayo na ano na. Uh-oh. So you will see in the next slides, next na tayo. Ayan, uh, ayan yung mga naabot namin, malalayo yung mga lugar dun sa Cagayan. Next please. Ayan, uh, oo, sa labas na to ng, ng Tugigaraw, sa Alcala na ito. Uh, tapos, uh, next slide. Ayan, may dala rin kami mga relief goods na kasi nga uh, dahil nagre-relay na nga kami ng Uh, pagkaluto namin, nauna siyempre yung hot food, sumunod na, na yung mga relief goods na, na next wave. So, uh, next slide. Ayan. Ngayon naman, oo. Oh. Oh, oh. yeah, so, Sorry, ano, pagkapasok ng 2021, uh, inisip namin, oh, anong ba gagawin na? Patuloy naman kami dito sa Los Baños. Nandiyan yung kusina and everything. Pero ano ano pagpasok noong 21 2021 nagkaroon ng uh, armed attacks dito sa sa Maguindanao sa South Upi Maguindanao uh, nagkaroon ng mass evacuation sa South Upi uh, so I contacted yung uh, yung team namin sa Iligan City si headed by Grace uh, Araneta no Paklar And I told her, makakapunta ka ba? Are you willing to go? Kasi medyo uh, combat situation tsaka high risk situation yung pagpunta sa South Upi. Napakadelikado ho nung ano. Eh sabi niya, Sir Alex, kailan pa ako umayaw sa iyo? Eh sa Marawi nga, ako unang-una <laughs> nag, nag-volunteer sa... So sabi ko, sige, dalhin mo yung equipment mo from Iligan, dalhin mo sa sa Maguindanao, sa so, uh, Cotobato. And that's what she did. Ano? So... We were able to give a three-day feeding doon sa South Upi. Ngayon yung South Upi, parang very active ngayon yung armed groups, ano, armed uh, insurgents, uh, nandiyan yung BIFF. At tapos marami po mga, kung, mga last command, mga magulo, magulong magulo dyan. So every time na nakakapunta kami sa isang lugar, yung partnership namin with local networks, local NGOs, the church, etc. Uh, parang foothold na lagi yan para sa RMK, para sa mga susunod na kung may mangyayari na ano na mas malaking putukan o gera. So yan, ito na yung foothold namin dun sa lugar na yan. So that's how we operate po. No? Okay. So yan, I think that's... Yan, next slide niya. So, ito na yung mga nakapagluto na kami. Next slide. Yan. Okay. So, tapos na siya. Yan. So, maraming maraming salamat Thank po. Thank you po. Thank you. Yun lang so, po yung ano namin. If you have namin. questions. Pag may questions po, dito lang yes. kami. 
Painting po yan ni Elmer Borlongan. Mm-hmm. Pagigan natin. Let's give them a virtual clap. Wow, this is very extensive in terms of effort. And um, we didn't even realize that you were able to do this by yourself. So um, we are going to do the question and answer later after the, uh, of the next group. However, I would like to clarify some points lang, precious Alex. Baka pwedeng ma-share nyo. So when you actually go to the communities, what is your first linkage? Like, do you connect with the LGU or are you getting in touch with with um, artist groups lang? Uh, iba-iba. Uh, hindi artist groups lang, definitely. But definitely as well, the artists respond. Pag alam nilang pupunta kami doon, nagre-respond agad yung mga artists. Uh, parang, how can we help? Uh, ganyan. It's, it's, always, it's always there. So yung LGU, yung, yung church, uh, private organizations, any organization that can help us, kahit na bahay, family, May mga ganun din. So we contact people and they contact us. And then as soon as we get there, as soon as people know that we have the intention of going to a place, uh-huh. yung mga artists mismo dun sa place na yun, nagre-respond. How can we help? Or uh, can we do this and can we do that? So mm-hmm. so ganun ang mga artists natin. Actually, nauna ang mga artists sa pag-respond. Uh-huh. Eh kasi, we bring oras natin eh, as an artist. We own our time. So it's a matter of uh, anong pwede kong gawin? What can I do to help out? Yeah, so so yes. yung, ano, yung linkages is with LGU, mm-hmm. uh, simbahan, private individuals. Kung minsan kahit sa military, uh, kagaya oh. sa Hulo, we, uh, uh, tinulungan kami ng Marines. Ang Marines ang nag-host sa amin. Doon kami nakatera sa kampo ng Marines. Ah. So, how do you look for your kitchen venues? Uh, tinatanong namin to the to telephone. Uh-uh. All we need is this space about uh, the size of half a basketball court or even one fourth of a mm. basketball court. Sana may bubong. And especially, we need potable water. Pot- potable water. Uh-huh. As long as nandyan na yung tatlong yan, game tayo. Ganun, ganun uh-huh. siya. Pag walang tubig, kunyari, nako. Hindi kami pupunta, no? Oh. Well, like when you say that you have been feeding people for like three months, talagang three times a day na feeding yan? Ang protocol kasi, let's say, na uh, Philippine Red Cross or International Red Cross is one full meal, one full meal a day. Ah. Yun yung, ano, so, yun na sinusundan namin na protocol. One full meal. Usually, early dinner siya. Kasi to cook for 1,000, for example, you have to start early in the morning. May chopping, ganyan. To. Kasi ang dami pwede mangyari. Eh, no? So, uh, yan. Umpisa ka maagang maaga. And then you'll probably finish at about 3 p.m. Mm-mm. And then delivery at 4. So, it's early dinner. Um, yun yung minimum namin. Uh, one meal a day. Minsan, Pero, mabot na rin kami ng three times a day. Kung minsan may three times a day mabot din kami. Na rin. Pero oh. to... To, to, you have volunteers now. Uh, mayroon kang 20, 30 volunteers and you have to keep on feeding them five mm. times a day. Oh. <laughs> Isa pa yun. Ano? yun <laughs> protocol yun namin. Kailangan mo pakainin yung volunteers. Breakfast, merienda, lunch, merienda. Tsaka mapili yung mga yan. Oh, ano naman? Ulo ng baboy naman. Ano, lutuin natin. Ay, nako. Ay. Oo, kasi may time kasi na uh, we had to like slaughter a hog every day. We had to, ganon. So, pinapatira namin yung ulo at saka pa, ah, di ba? Eh, sino kakain nun? Di mo naman pwede maserve sa 1,000 yung ulo, di ba? Panaisisig na yung So, and then, sa gabi, lagi kami may litsong ulo at saka crispy pata <laughs> pag gabi. <laughs> ano okay. lang eh, kasi parang yun na yung parang pinaka-consuelo di bobo <laughs> ng mga volunteer. Pakain. Yeah, but... Pakainin mo sila ng mabuti. Yeah, but going back to your question, the protocol uh, that we follow is a minimum of one meal, one full meal a day. Pero ano nga, no? uh, may mga times na ako, protocol namin yun. Kaya lang, may mga ano, binibreak namin yun. Uh, uh-huh. we, we serve three meals a day. Three okay. meals. Okay. Pag nakikita mo na kaya ng volunteers, no? kaya nung sa dami ng volunteers, tapos yung kaya supplies supplies. mo tuloy-tuloy, Kaya Go naman, pwede naman three, three meals Go a day. Go for it. Kasi yung ending nun, we have to finish all that. Actually, 
Actually, yung prerogative ng head of mission yun, kung sino yung head ng mission, prerogative niya yan. Pag nakikita niya na pwede, sige. Yan ganun. Um, siguro last na lang na question before we move on to the next one. Ano usually yung composition ng mga volunteers nyo at saka ng mga donation? Is oh. it usually just private sector? Uh, siguro mga 98% ng, uh, ng, donors. ng donors namin na individuals. Mm. Um, individuals as in you, the, the artists of Bacolod, for example, uh, friends from the cultural community, <laughs> uh, mga, mga kaibigan sa media. sa media, ganyan, mga kaibigan na, ngayon mga friends of friends na nila, tas friends of friends of friends na, Marami talaga individuals. Tapos yung network ng NGOs kasi nag-link up din kami, no? Uh, uh, kagay kay Gang Badoy. Oo. Tapos Rocket, may... Oo. Tapos, uh, Project Pearls. Oo. Tapos meron mga groups ngayon at saka companies. For example, nung pandemic, ang Jollibee Food Group nagsara, di ba? Kasi walang pwedeng magbukas na restaurant. And they... They decided lahat ng stocks nila na mag-expire kasi eh, sarado nga yung mga tindahan nila binigay nila sa amin. Wow. So at there was one day na Alex well, had this 650 kilograms of chicken, chicken <laughs> in his kitchen and Boy. he had to cook all of them. Oh. <laughs> Ma two weeks ko linuto siguro. Panay manok yung ano eh. Iba-iba. May chicken curry. Chicken. Ino walang manok. Lahat chicken talaga. Hilong-hilong kami sa chicken. Hello, uh, ano? After that, wala, wala talaga yung gusto kumain sa amin ng chicken. <laughs> isda. Uh, bibili kami isda para sa amin. Yung ganun. Kasi sawa-sawa kami talaga so, sa... So meron ano. ganun. May, may corporations na nagpapadala din. Um, like in Cagayan, um, there was this uh, cold call. Ay, hindi ko kakilala. Taga Cebu. And they are a voice company. Um, what do you call that? Uh, and then they they said, we'd like to send you some money. Mga ganun. Um, so may corporations din. Pero hindi ganun kalaki nga. So mga 2% lang of our donations come from from corporations, formal organizations. Yeah. May isang donor naman, frozen fish naman yung dinala. Mga ganun din, mga 600 kilos, <laughs> frozen, pero napakasarap. Oh, oh. Uh, fish fillet na diretsong luto na, may crumbs na siya. Sarap. Napakasarap niya. <laughs> and in terms of your volunteers? In terms of our volunteers, uh, anong composition? Individuals. So, community from the community. Like, we were saying kanina, dalawa, uh, dalawa na lang kami umalis. Ako at isang uh, support ko dito sa Los Banos. Pupunta kami ng TV si Chef Arvin. For example, pagdating namin doon, yung community na, yung mga taga-barangay na uh, kabataan, yung kabataan SK ng barangay nandun, Meron din yung kapitbahay ng barangay na uh, mga nanay, magang umaga pa lang magwawalis na yung mga yon. Um, yung isang yung mga estudyante ng TV University, ganun sila. So ang composition nagbabary and uh, mm-hmm. every time we're in a community. Minsan, yeah. It depends on the kind of community. Minsan, uh, bago ka alis, tatawa, tatawag ka muna no, sasabihin mo dun sa LGO kung sino can we have volunteers, no? yung mga tinamaan mismo ng kalamidad, pwede bang tawagin yung mga nanay at saka yung mga wala namang, guma- wala namang ginagawang mga lalaki para tumulong doon sa kusina. Kaya lang, hindi, hindi mo rin magagawa lagi yung, yung lagi mo magagawa yun. Kung minsan pupunta ka doon sa area, wala pa, wala, walang... Ta- so, pagdating mo pala, mag-oorganisa ka pala. Pupunta ka doon sa mga bahay-bahay. Ma'am, nandito kami. Magluluto ho kami. Dumarating na lang sila pa. Unti-unti. Tapos maghahanap ka na lang kung sino may mga baboy ganun, na pwedeng bilhin para katayin. Ganyan. Tapos kung may sobrang tuba, bibili ka rin ng konting tuba para ano, pampalakas. Ganyan. <laughs> Um, one of the things that we we also do is to jumpstart the economy. Uh, But as much as possible, you buy local. Uh, so, pagpunta mo ng palengke, nakikita mo yung mga nagtitinda uh, after a calamity, tas lumong-lumo sila kasi walang bumibili masyado dahil uh, calamity nga. Bibili namin lahat yun. 
Kasi sa totoo lang, ano, yung United Nations sa uh, protocols dati, ito, 15 years ago, kiniship nila from America <laughs> doon sa kung saan yung napaka ano naman talaga, ang napakamahal nung ano, at saka wala kang masisira y- yung local economy kasi hindi mo maano. So it took them about 15 years to realize na bumi- by local. Bu- bumili ka na by local. By local. Yeah. Ano. So yun yung ginagawa namin. Siyempre, hindi na, we won't do that same mistake. Ano? I'd also like to mention um, groups of artists. For example, si Tracy Santiago, um, who I met at the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. And I was working there. No? Magkasama kami ni, ni Tracy sa NCCA who ventured into vegetables. No? Mm-hmm. And, and what she would do uh, is uh, raise money, buy vegetables from Sagada, and then send it to us. So, mga two tons. Uh, so, from Cagayan, nagpadala siya doon dalawang tonelada. In Tiwi, she sent one ton. In Los Banos, she's been sending regularly. So, nagre siya ng funds so that she can raise enough money to buy tons of vegetables for so, us to use. So, ang isang um, posi- positibong nangyari din dun sa community kitchens, dun sa ginagawa namin, is yung awareness ng mga tao dun sa mga Cordillera farmers at saka yung mga ibang farmers din na gusto tumulong kasi mabubulok lang eh yung yung uh-huh. ano yung mga ka, yung mga carrots nila yung mga cabbage mababu eh bakit hindi ipadala the only problem was the only problem is in transportation yes. di ba na highlight lang na highlight masyado yung ano ng uh, bakit hindi bakit hindi gamitin ng mga LGU from Benguet or Sagada gamitin yung mga truck nila ipadala ipababa yung mga ano ng mga gulay ng mga farmers nagawa kami ng paraan noon hiniram namin si Optimus Prime ng Redemptorist Church <laughs> at yun yung nagpabalik-balik ng may, uh, ng Cordillera may tiget. mga ano naman may mga LGU so, na nagpahiram yung sa Sagada uh, nagpahiram sila ng ano ng mga truck Mm-hmm. Uh, at saka yung Department of Agriculture dun sa area nila nagpahiram ng mga truck din nila may isang nag-initiative dito sa amin yung uh, veggie heist yun yung ginawa nila taga ipugaw siya mm-hmm. so she organized and then I think she brought uh, God, I think 3 tons several tons then. Seven tons, 3 to 7 tons of vegetables yeah. Pinamigay dito sa buong Los Banos yun. Hinati-hati, pinamigay. Tapos sa amin, ang dami. Da- yung, yung carrots nga. Yung... Grabe, ang dami <laughs> carrots um, talaga. Um, I think ang maganda doon that, that this initiative where we set up a base, where there's a kitchen, where there's Bagsak- arms, bagsakan ka na lang. And there's camaraderie. And there are people helping. Nagiging, nagiging sentro kami ng relief uh, operations. operations. Parang modern day talaga na bayaniha, no? Parang gano'n siya. Oh, as in the whole country is actually contributing to these things. Oh, oh, kasi the rest of the people who are staying in their homes are actually raising funds for us. Yes. And I think everybody is relieved to have you doing this because not all of the people are willing to come out, especially Hindi, during the pandemic. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Yung decision namin at the start of the pandemic, Nakikita namin yung mga uh, barangay workers. Mm. Ay kung kaya nilang gawin yun, I mean, yung, yung dedication nila sa work, ano, yung, yung, yung isang magandang nangyari rin sa amin na we actually saw yung barangay namin actually working talaga. Yung level of government on that level, makikita mo talagang napaka-honest nila, napaka-bite nila sa amin. Alam mo yun, yung, yung relationship parang nasemet na cement eh, yung naglagay kami ng kusina ron, uh, naging kaibigan namin sila, alam mo yun, yung, and then, yun nga, uh, I think, uh, if there's a breakdown dun sa level ng barangay, talagang mahihirapan ho tayo talaga mga ganun, kasi, yun yung ba- mga b- b- basurero, bumbero, alam mo yun, people that do the paperwork for you, you know, yung mga quarantine pass, Nandiyan sila araw-araw, sabi, sabi namin sa isa't isa, eh, well, let's take the same risk as these people kasi mga frontline workers din sila. Yeah. So, that's, a, that's, a, that's a way more positive narrative 
of how we actually deal with this as a people, no? Na hindi lang tayo corruption and there are actually you know, barangay officials working towards the good of... Yeah, mahusay nila talaga. Uh, mahusay, uh, mahusay yung mga, mga front frontline workers natin. So mm. even the medical workers, we salute yeah. them for what they're doing na napaka napakabait nila to, tapos napaka-appreciative din nila sa so maliit na ano ba naman yung dala namin sa sa mga frontline workers natin. Diba? We, we send them food. Tapos kami, at that time, lalo nang simula nung lockdown, we also established a lockdown kitchen. Lockdown yung kitchens namin. Hindi ko lalabas. So hindi kami lalabas. So, <laughs> nandun lang kami sa kitchen. Uh, social distancing. <laughs> Oo. Tapos yung yung kami, lahat kami nagpa-swab test yung nasa loob ng kitchen ng Cagayan when we were in Cagayan, no? Lahat kami nagpa-swab test, tapos lahat na nasa labas, yun yung nag-chop. So walang pumapasok ng kusina, which is uh, kami lang. Ganon. Meron kami mga na-establish na mga protocols na rin. Uh, yes. An operation um, that's, you know, to keep everybody safe from covid This is very, very interesting. In terms of your flexibility, talagang we really, we really learned during the pandemic, talagang kailangan maging flexible talaga sa dami ng mga protocol na bago, yung mga restrictions. Yes. Ano palagi, uh, flexible ka dapat, nag-change ka, nag-a-adapt ka. Mm. Marami. So Alex, Precious, I think we are going to continue this very interesting sharing. <clears throat> After we share also the stories of Art Hills. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. But in the meantime, we would like to acknowledge the Benil School of Deaf Education and Applied Studies, who are actually doing the interpreting for us, Miss Tess Buenaventura and Miss Noemi Lakambakal. Thank you very much for always being with us. All right. So I think we are going to move on now to Art Hills. Okay, there are actually three key persons who are um, <clears throat> pioneering our tales, and we are going to introduce to you these three key persons. The first one is Roderick Tihing, or R.A. Tihing, or Hash as we know him. He is a self-taught artist from Silay City, Negros Occidental. He is the team leader of Art Hills Fundraising and the manager of Grey Room Art Space, an artist-run gallery at the Art District in Bacolod City. R.A. is a graduate of the University of St. LaSalle Bacolod. He has been a full-time artist since 2009. He currently already has 10 solo shows in Orange Project Gallery, Secret Fresh Gallery, Altramundo Gallery, Nova Gallery, Canvas Gallery, and close to a thousand group shows in Philippines and abroad, including those in Dubai, Singapore, Switzerland, Italy, and the Guangzhou Korea Art Residency Program. So that is R.A. Tihing. Okay, and the next one is, of course, our very own Mr. Charlie Ko, who has produced more than 40 solo exhibitions since 1983 and presented internationally in Australia, China, Hong Kong, Singapore, and the Philippines. Um, a mature and prolific career, Ko establishes his own distinctive style early on, an individuality that has awarded him many accolades, among them the 13th Artist Award, the Juror, Juror's Choice of the 6th Philip Morris uh, ASEAN Art Awards, an artist in residence in Japan, China, and Australia, Patnubay ng Sining at Kalinungan, and the Dr. Jose Rizal Award for Excellence. Furthermore, uh, Charlie has represented the Philippines in important regional surveys, including Brazil's 23rd Sao Paulo Biennale, 2nd Asia Pacific Trennial, ASEAN Modernism at the Japan Foundation Asian Cultural Center in Tokyo, uh, despite his successes, Cos pra uh, Charlie Cos practice has remained deeply rooted uh, in his hometown in Bacolod City, where he runs and co-owns Orange Project uh, that supports emerging Visayan talent. So, um, lolo na si Charlie. <laughs> Charlie was one of the <clears throat> founding members of the Viva XCon in 1990 and is currently the longest running, uh, we know that it's the longest running Biennale in the Philippines, no? 
and he runs Orange Project as well. Through his career, he has consistently uh, recorded our time, socially alert, politically astute, and globally concerned. His paintings are loaded with symbols, deeply personal and allegorical, with a vibrant palette and quick sketchy style. Ko is also known for his multidisciplinary works, turning to clay and mixed media, oil pastel, pen and ink, and most recently, acrylic on modeling paste on canvas. Charlie is represented in major public collections, including the Fukuoka Asian Art Museum, Singapore Art Museum, Queensland Art Gallery, Australia, Metropolitan Museum, and Lopez Museum, Manila, the Bencab Museum, Baguio, Philippines, and private collections globally. So this is our very own Charlie Ko. And the next one, The next one is Barry Cervantes. Barry studied fine arts major in advertising in Bacolod City, currently working as freelance graphic artist while doing art exhibitions and collaborations with local and national artists and galleries, focusing on visual arts and design, running gray room art space and their orange project and art district Bacolod City also. Uh, his current affiliation is with Art Hills Fundraising, Viva Excon Bacolod Secretariat for Marketing and Promotions. Okay. Um, well, this is just a little bit of information that Barry shared with us, but he has done a lot, I tell you. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are our key. Uh, movers and shakers as far as Art Hills is concerned. Now, let's look at this introductory video.
Okay, that is pretty much Art Hills fundraising. So I think at this point, gentlemen, kindly say hi to our virtual audience. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hello. So I think uh, the first thing that we would want to do, uh, we would want to find out, is for you to share the state of our community when the pandemic actually started and what made you, you know, start this particular Art Hills initiative. Maybe you can start, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. May aga sa tanan. Inspired ko sila ni, ni, ni Precious, ni Alex. Um, well, what happened here um, last year, we survived 2020. It's January ending, ending a month of the first month of 2021. So we, were, we survived, well, going back a year ago. I think January, February, the news was really bad. I mean, you know, you, I always watch the TV, no? And, and then I'm imagining that um, it's from China uh, to lock down 20 million, 10 million people. And could do it. This, is, this, is something, this is something weird, no? So I, so I was watching and then, of course, the, the fear is building up. Um, what's going to happen? Especially me, I have a co, you know, I am kidney transplant and everything. So medyo heightened yung, ano, yung, yung fear of what's going to happen. And then here comes February. I think February when we, when we were preparing for, um, we just had the art fair, Philippines, and then we were preparing going to Manila um, for art in the park. And then a week before that, all the works are there in Manila now. A week before that, Tricky called me. Canceled. Canceled. Everything's canceled. So everything goes back now. And then, ano pa? Um, we were all prepared going there. No? So things happen very, very fast. I think I did also have a show in Ateneo, I think after a month, lockdown. So um, what triggered uh, Art Hills was, we, I think there was one that was, I think, I don't know, March 13. March 13. Now before that, I think a week before that, I was I, we I invited Manny and Toto to the house, and we were discussing about about the the, the pandemic. You know what's going to happen? No, we are looking. We are talking about many scenarios. You no, know? so I we I was also sharing to them that uh, I think we 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 need to respond now before uh, the lockdown, and I was toying with. Looking at the bank account of small bank account of of Orange, said, "Well, we can have we have something here." So okay, we money me and Toto we were discussing, and then after that I have to talk to Bong Lokwe, my my business partner, and I said, "I think we need to do this now before the lockdown." I was I was anticipating the lockdown, and I was my of course my first concern are my artists are our artists here in Orange. So that's 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 always um, um, my main concern. No? So okay, uh, after that I called Roderick, uh, Barry. We were able to, and, and then I talked to the, to Boy, and I decided uh, this is the amount we, we have some some money. Can we can you can you do a grocery for me <laughs> for the artist? So we have this amount of money. Uh, so sila na namin studio ka ron, they will be the one tell, telling you about how did they do that. So we have this amount of money. I said to them, I think we need to do this, this thing in, um, I think that was March 13. It, before, Six, uh, before the lockdown. I think three days before the lockdown. So, you know, bakolod naman in authorities when we talk, when we had a project, you know, we have, a, we have some, something in mind. We just call each other and then talk, you know, so bilis. So that was our response. Uh, I think it's just like um, at looking at a precious uh, process, Lani Alex, is like uh, planting, this, this is our, our first experience, no? planting a seed during pandemic. The reaction, I think it's not just Bacolod, but I think all over the Philippines, the artists would always have this, this uh, the first one always will respond to the artist, eh? because you, you, you observe things. No? around you, so you observe. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of other artists in the different islands has been doing that also, responding. So our response here is, okay, let's deal with this. Let's, let's, let's try to support our local artists. We have this amount, let's do the grocery. So we did the grocery, 
and we were able to they could uh Barry and Hash would, would later talk about the details of what happened now. But now we did the grocery. So our response is art heal is, response is always art heals no using art planting the seed of consciousness of community is very important. Uh, we, we are artists mostly doing individual work in our studio. But <clears throat> this, 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 this pandemic created a response um, naturally. I think it's very natural for all these artists who had help. Na, okay, we can do this. Um, we, 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 can, we can really support what we have. No? And then uh, it became a series of um, a series of uh, wave. We call it wave. Wave one, two, three, four, five. No, so there's many, many, and uh, where where uh, uh, RA and and uh, body would do the explanation of what is the waves. No, uh, so wave one will be Mr. Barry Cervantes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Barry. Hi, good morning. Okay, uh, this is our wave one of uh, our deals. So, as Charlie mentioned, uh, before the lockdown, uh, the start of the pandemic, Charlie called me early in the morning. He said, hey, uh, you want to help uh, our local artists? So, you want to do the grocery, etc. We have money. So I think it's gonna be worse because there's gonna be a lockdown. So I was I, I didn't hesitate even for like okay. Uh, I told the uh, Charlie okay no problem. I, I call Hash. Uh, what do, what do we need? What do we need to do? So Charlie said okay you can do grocery at uh, Lopez or if you want you could uh, ask Hash and ask help for other artists also who want to volunteer. So I was thinking, uh, I will tell my wife uh, that we need to help. So without hesitation, I also thank my wife, Angie, because he, he did the list of the groceries that moment also. So I told uh, Angie, uh, OK, can you do uh, the budgeting for the groceries? Because uh, we need to do this ASAP. So she did the groceries. And I told I told them uh, it's a risky it's a, it's a risky you know, uh, thing to do also but uh, we need to do this so my wife and my daughter had no hesitations also so they said okay we will help so then I I I, I called Hash Hash uh, tomorrow we will get the money then from Charlie then we do the grocery uh, this is a this is a good experience also because I haven't had like uh, this amount of grocery that 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 amount of groceries is, is 150 worth of grocery that that's too many if you look at it that's uh, uh 150 worth of grocery for 40 40 plus artists for the family not for individual person, but for each family. For one month. One for month. one month. Thank you. Five. Uh, I think that 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 is like uh, worth about five thousand. Four to five thousand. Four to five thousand uh, groceries. So after that, uh, we bought the grocery. We we put it here in the gallery. Then we ask the help from our our fellow artists also. Uh, our uh, own dosi boys, cats, etc. Here uh, at the gallery, then uh, we sort out all the groceries for 40 plus uh, artists. Then Hash did the delivery. Uh, after that, uh, that's it. Uh, that's then, wave one. Wait, that's wait. wave one. Uh, that's way one. So the next way will be the face shield for the frontliners. Face shield and food cups. Uh, as that, you need to explain <laughs> way two. I get 
Uh, good morning. Uh, for the wave 2, uh, uh, wala pa mga ano yun, mga, mga facials, ano, mga frontliners, kasi ano yun, uh, kasagsaga ng, ano, ng lockdown. So, mga, yung mga frontliners doon, sa north and south area ng Bacolod, going on in uh, the Bacolod, uh, gumawa kami ng mga, ano, mga facials, ng mga ano lang, uh, uh, handmade mga parang gano'n. Tapos, uh, kinunta ko rin yung mga ano, ibang mga artists from Bacolod. Uh, AEB, si Dennis Valenciano, at saka si Rin Paul, yung group nila, binigyan namin ng mga, yung mga plastics na pa para sa facial. Uh, tapos, si na Ayla at Billy Boy, binigyan din. Tapos, si Nakat at si Rob, din distribute. Manny. At sila, Manny, gumawa rin. Walang sila yung uh, AEB. Tapos, ah, uh, after like uh, natapos get gather namin lahat tapos hinatid namin sa ano sa mga yung iba sa hospital sa regional hospital yung mga uh, lady of mercy hospitals tapos yung mga area kung saan yung mga magic points tapos nagdonate si ano si si miss Gina Hawkson mm -hmm. ng pera binili namin na yung ano yun ng mga mineral bottles uh, mga bottled water then yung mga mga foods para, para sa mga frontliners ito yung mga ano yan so, yung mga doctors nagconnect din kami sa nag nag ano sila nag nagfi-feed sila yung mga doctor from regional hospital to tapos nag nagbigay rin kami ng officials doon kasi wala mga officials sa kailangan sa mga hospital the time ah uh, yan tapos Yun, after namin na binigay doon, lahat parang sabi ni Charlie, parang de, uh, delikado na. Pero hindi kami tumigil. Nag-isip kami ng mga, ano, ng mga, mga another ways nga maka-help. Maka o oh, sige, gawa tayo ng fundraising para sa ano, sa... Pero hindi na kami lalabas noon. Kaya nag-connect kami sa NBC. Uh, na... Uh, explain hmm. na yung Sir Charlie na yun. Third wave. Third wave. Thank you. Okay. So, there are these, I'll, I'll be talking about the third wave. First, second, third wave. There are many artists. I cannot just name everybody. But uh, I think on on the third wave, um, we were able to do a fundraising using that, 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 that uh, paint, the work of mine as artists. Hmm. No? We were able to do a fundraising and then... Um, uh, we were we were able to have like uh, a million pesos from artwork. So I said, "Wow, pandemic! May mga tao na ano na na are still supporting the art uh, by buying the art, and they know that uh, uh, it's going somewhere." No? Um, I think on the on the second and uh, on the second wave, there was already um, a communication from Manila and Cebu. Mm -hmm that artists are also doing fundraising. So um, I think Angela Silva called me and then I talked to her about the, that, those projects for before the fundraising. And I told her, um, Angela, let's do the local. Let, let, let the artists from Manila do their own, uh, they do, do their own uh, fundraising or Cebu, they do, do their own fundraising. So that the, when, they got, when they got the fund, it's easily distributed in their area. Mm. So, so we can we will also do our, our share by doing the fundraising here in Bacolod so that we know what what area, what are the most um, efficient way of uh, supporting whatever funds we have. No? So um so Angela contacted uh, I know already Mili Kilaiko, so she contacted Mili Kilaiko, and I know Mili Kilaiko is uh, she's been she's been really really in front more than the front line, as I said. You know, it, it, she's been doing things uh, the NBC yeah, um, years and years now no, in supporting the community. So I connected with uh, Angela Mili. You know, we we connected. I thought I called Mili Kilaiko now. 
the artist wants to support her project because I know whatever amount of money that we will be uh, giving uh, Millie, it will really go to the most needed you know, mm. because she has the network. So as artists, we were, we were, we are just we will we have been creating donating artwork for for for, for that for the cost, no? and uh, we were able to to a good amount of money. We're able to 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 support to give uh, give it to NBC, and then um, it's really heartwarming, no? And I think uh, addicting. When you start uh, supporting or looking or doing things for your community, and you can really see the impact. So it's very addicting. No? I think uh, it it uh, this it it's 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 it inspired the artist to to ex just not just to paint alone in your studio, but uh, to really do do an outreach or beyond yourself. No, um, in because we all know that we can do something. No. So yun, and then as as our host told you, uh, Roderick, na sabi ko after the first two three waves, sabi ko you're in the front line, and I'm I'm afraid that um, that you may get the you may get the COVID. So sabi ko after I think first second third wave, uh, uh, stop a nine. And then I was also thinking na oh, um, we were supporting visual artists, but now I was thinking. There are so many artists, musicero, mm. filmmaker, writers. These are I said, why not, you know, uh, expand um, supporting artist community get the whole. So it was like um, thinking of uh, projects and during pandemic. Up to now, we're fighting the pandemic. We're still there, no. Um, so we are always thinking of uh, a bigger picture of around the artist community, the, the whole, not just visual artists, but the whole, the whole, uh, the whole um, community of artists. Um, that's 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 I feel na uh, Orange Project and Art District can do something about it. Um, in during pandemic, up to now, no, and we're still there, no? um, and then there are many, many more. Uh, uh, calamities happening all over. So, um, what else? I think we um, we will just uh, the, the, if, if it's gonna be yeah the pictures there in our kills is like really um, we can really see the impact of the fundraising to the community you know, um, in in our own small way because this is still um, <clears throat> this is work in progress. As artists, uh, as artists, and as art, as human being, um, we want to we want to uh, I don't know, um, expand our experience in the horizon, and the possibility that we can do something we can, that can help. I think there is no um, hesitation from artists. I, I I know that the artist has the biggest heart. When you ask a donation, the first thing. You ask the artist and the artist say, oh, uh, I'll, I'll donate an artwork. So uh, you know, an artwork can help a lot of things, no? Uh, as I as um, as Barry, I gave Barry, okay, you do the grocery. I never had a grocery all my life for 150,000 pesos. I never paid 150,000 for a grocery. But uh, I think that the nice story there when I asked uh, Barry, so how was the, how was the feeling of 150,000? Yeah, and uh, Barry told her, uh, daughter. his his daughter. Yeah, you see, Dai, the hundred fifty thousand pesos. Kung gano karami ang mabigyan mo ng tulong, you know. So can you imagine um, if you have a corruption of hundred fifty million? Wow. Wow. You know? So so it's a lesson. It's a it's a it's a story that will is also inspires us na. You know, if you use the money well mm -hmm. and really wanted to help the community, you know, it can, it, it goes a long way. You know? but uh, these are all I know. These are all work in progress. Uh, we're just always digging ourselves in our heart and mind on what can we do for the community. So now we go to wave four, where has we give you a, 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 a
uh, a story to tell you know, for the wave four. Oh, uh, so uh, uh, during wave three, parang may ad, nag-create na kami ng ad, uh, admin nun. Kasi hindi kami na ano eh. Hindi kami masyadong, hindi kami masyadong makalabas. Uh, Nag-meet up kami every other day. Pero minsan, Charlie, every day gusto kong mag-meeting. <laughs> kami si, si Katz, uh, sa so, so Oris Patch, Jemima, uh, si, si Barry, ako si Angela, si Charlie. Angela. At tapos yung mga ibang artist din sa Oris, si Dudes, si Maureen. Maureen. Para nag-uusap-usap kami kung ano mga next nating mga uh, uh, gagawin. Uh, so during lockdown, lagi ako pumupunta sa bundok. Hmm. Mm, kasi yung kapatid ko may mga may ano doon sa bundok. Kaya nadaadaanan ko yung mga no, yung mga yung mga ba, community na hindi ano, di abot ng ano ng government ng ng tulong. Hmm. So, sabi ko chart sir, ang gagawin natin para sa ano, uh, mak- Dahil may may pumapasok na pera from ano eh from artists uh, artists from raising na na marami na marami na kaming na benta so, sige gawa tayo ng ano ng wave 4 ay am mo na yung video kanina na go to the yeah 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 that's the wave na sa bundok yan uh-huh. ito din uh, so ang setup kami sa ano sa Silay uh, coffee shop coffee shop ni na, an, sa Anco ginawa namin ano kasi sarado ginawa namin ano uh, diyan yung center, center na para sa pag uh, ano ng mga mga goods pag pag-ipon may mga donation galing pra um, ano Bong. Mercy Pambong Charlie nagbigay yung anko nagbigay sila na ano ng bigas mga uh, also ako rin yung ano yung ng grocery ito ako lang mag-isa mm, kasi risky but, na eh oh, so plus, medyo na to medyo uh, Ano yung dami ng case? I think dito sa... Oo, oh, dami na. May mga case. Na. So sabi ko, uh, okay lang. Ako lang, ako lang mag-isa. Huwag, huwag, na, huwag na magsama na iba. Kaya naman. So I I met I met up with Bong here at uh, Lopez. Dito lang malapit sa gallery. So same rin. Kasi alam mo na yung process ng pagbili ng mga grocery, mga lahat ng ano. So medyo, ano na, medyo hindi na mahirap. Oo. Uh-huh. So parang alam mo na alam mo na kung ano gagawin mo. So yun. Ito yung ano yung mga uh, uh, ilang mga ilang mga ilang perasong grocery yun. Uh, At parang ano to eh, ang big bigas binigyan natin ang mga bigas tapos mga mga gamit sa bahay, uh, mga may mga tinapay sa so, ilang bilat. Uh, may manok, may isang buong manok. Parang ano pang para sa ano to eh more than 200 families oh. na na, <clears throat> na identify namin na kailangan tulungan doon sa ano. Ito yun sa ano sa Kamantero. Uh, malapit to sa bundok sa Silay at sa Talisay na area. Pero pero dadaan ka dito sa dalawang ilog. Dalawang ilog niya. Enjoy kami din. Uh, uh, para ihatid yung ano yung mga tulong diyan sa mm-hmm. community. So those communities. like 200 communities. O oh, oh, parang uh, high more, oh. more than 200 oh. families. families. Uh, Pero ano na sa taas kani ito yung yung pupuntahan namin na sa ilalim parang mag-hike mag-hike ka pa down tapos may dalawang ilog tapos aakyat ka naman uli. So medyo pero ano yung enjoy din. Uh, summer <laughs> summer ito eh. Nakaka exercise. <laughs> summer na no? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, happy yung mga tao lang first time sila naka-ano for uh, more than a month na na hindi sila naka-ano ng tour oh, diyan eh. Medyo malayo na po sa ano, anong month ito na no ba? April na to. April. April. More than one April. month. Oh, April. April na. Hmm. Summer. Summer. Kaya buti na lang na ano. Uh, sarap din man no? yung feeling pag ano. Yung kasalamatan ka lang ng tao. <laughs> Nandi, na, kasama, kasama rin namin dito yung ano. Yung Orange Team Crew. Mm. Lahat. lahat uh, mga ilang mga, mga anim na sasakyan siguro. Nag-volunteer, nag-volunteer na ito. Volunteer na pa, o. Oh. Sila so, Maureen, Anika, uh, sila uh-huh. Dennis, uh-huh. Anna, Miss Ann, uh, sila Rob. Tapos yung mga volunteers din sa, ano, sa, sa, nag-work sa, ano, sa art district. Oo, oh, tama. Uh-huh. So, ano pa? Four? 
I think we continue with wave five. Uh, after na oh, yun, wave five. Oh, wave, yeah, wave, wave oh, five. Wave, wave, uh, wave five. Uh, explain okay. naman ano ni Barry. Yung sa wave five naman, uh, uh, sabi namin, uh, uh, contact do, uh, may contact, I think, nag, nag, nag-contact, uh, yun, nag-contact yung function project sa... Uh, oh. In uh, contact si ano si Malo yung si head. Malo Perez yung head, head dito ng ano ng potion project. project. So sabi niya uh, you want to do ano uh, group show uh, fundraising show. So yung theme is about uh, pets or animals, uh, dogs, cats. So para daw para po fundraising yung whatever na mga sales doon, i donate namin sa potion project kasi sila yung nag Kasi nung pandemic, wala nang makain yung mga, mga aso, mga stray dogs, mga stray dogs, mga stray cats. So, parang sab- sabi ni Malum, mas maganda siguro pag uh, mag-create tayo ng fundraising din para sa ano. Sabi namin, okay, no problem. So, contact yung mga artist, uh, gawa ng painting, uh, mga animals, saka mga, mga pets, tapos i-exhibit online. So yung part ng sale doon, sales doon sa sa exhibit. So binigay namin sa kay Malu. Ah, binili namin nang ano? Ah, bali yung may man, may pera na tayo sa artist. Oh, may, oh, may, oh. Nagpalabas na tayo na. Oh, ano pala ba sila agad? Kasi immediate kailangan na tulong ng mga oh, yes, mga 35. Hindi kaya wala na sila ang ila connection sa post. Oo. Oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. They need when, when they called you up. Ah, uh, their their group, uh, you know, funds coming from Manila was not there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So they need mm-hmm. the help of the mm-hmm. local uh, for our community to respond. Mm-hmm. So we respond to this potion. Mm-hmm. We have some photos of that whole potion. Meron. Potion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Grocery. So yeah. you know, my grocery list for dog food. Sa kama mga bigas yan eh. Bigas. bigas uh, uh, so ano ano yun mga minang sa ako ng ano ng. Mga aw- or uh, almost 50,000 yung ano yung nabili natin na but she is the you, she has been doing this for many oh. years oh. So, she ano na uh, si Malu yung ano eh si Malu yung ano nang siya yung uh, nagpapakain ng mga ano nag feeding so kami mga bulldog nurse din na from Bacolod sila ang mag-asawa Junji Junji Sweet and Chai at saka mga local na mga ano din na mga uh, mga artist din dito tumulong din sa pag-feed uh, ng mga aso. Si Larry Ramos, si Jonko din sa Bago. Mm-hmm. Tapos meron din sa Silay, sa Victoria, meron ganun. Ma- si Mama din siya, no, eh. si Dudes siya. Eh. Si oh, si Dudes. Dudes. Tapos mm-hmm. uh, yung, kasi daming, ano, madaming mga aso at saka pusa sa ano, art district. So, pag nag-lockdown na wala na mga restaurant dyan, wala mm-hmm. na mga mga, mga, ano, mga, mga parang mga punta po ng mga pagkain. So, kailangan talaga, ano? So, sa buong bakula din. Sa mga so, cities so, na bibigay din. May mga ano kasi, may mga volunteers na yun yan sa mga mm-hmm. ano, cities. Kaya, uh, I think hanggang uh, ngayon, g- ganyan pa rin yung ginagawa ni Malu. Kahit na, kahit na, no? Kahit na tapos na yung fundraising o sa potion. So, until now, siya pa rin yung nagpapakain ng mga cats at saka dogs dito ng mga strays. Ay, iba naman ang anong pagkain ngayon natin. Oh. Yun, after nun, after ng potion project, parang may, 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 ano pa eh, may continuous pa, continuous pa yung ano, yung, uh, yung, may mga, yung mga hindi nakasold na, nakasell na mga, ano, na mga artists na mga wars. Uh, Where's the sell? Oo. Uh, Binigyan, oh, okay. binigyan lahat ng cash, ano din eh. Binigyan din ng oh, oh, cash support. Oh. Oh. Hindi just parang wave 6. Yung percentage, no? oh. yung percentage ng, ano, ng sales din sa Art Hills, uh, yung hindi nakabenta, pero yung sumali. Pero yung hindi hmm. nakabenta, binibig, binibigyan rin namin ng ano? Cash support. Ng cash support. More than 50, 60 artists din. Oo, oh, dami rin, dami rin mm-hmm. na. So ang uh, I think ang um, what we've been doing for the during pandemic as artists we're looking at what can we do uh, how can we help other artists uh, we're just really focusing on artist community in in many in many in in many ways no uh, uh, during pandemic uh, up to now we do we are still focusing on 
um, projects that can help um, a wide range of uh, uh, discipline some IT. So, so Orange Project uh, focuses on the local ITs um, um, na community kung paano natin mapa ma ano ni ma support uh, with with projects being created especially when we have now uh, been supported uh, by Mercedes Obel she supported us and I think we we um, our our main from the first, from day one up to now our still main main focus is how do we help uh, the art community you know, it, it's still it's it's still going on and pandemic is still alive it's still now and we're we're facing we're facing it um, um, despite the pandemic we've been creating you know uh, the spaces here in art district as a healing place in a sense that People come here, young people who come here, will get inspired despite the pandemic. No, so we're creating artworks around art district, and whatever we're doing now is just is still a connection of from day one, from pandemic, from last year, and hopefully uh, this will be. Uh, no, it. I think it's it. You cannot stop uh, this idea of of helping each other as, as artists and artist community. No? Um, now, especially with the pandemic, the local becomes really important. Um, mm -hmm. I think as I, I always said, uh, when we started our Orange Project 15 years ago, it's like we, you invest on the community and your strength will be your community. Yeah, that, that, that's how I, I see it now. Yes. Uh, thank okay. you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Art Heels. Let's give them a virtual, virtual clap. Congratulations. And I think we just have a few clarifications for Art Heels. Uh, first and foremost, I think we are very curious to know what the impact or the effect is on the community, Charles and company. Oh, Gabby. Mm -hmm. um, uh... Ang, ang magandang impact kasi ng Art Hills, uh, nag-create uh, ano, nag siya ng, ano, ng parang, ano ba, parang consciousness rin sa mga artist na okay, yung mga artist pala, hindi lang pala, ano, uh, hindi lang pala nag-exhibit or palaging ito lang, focus lang sa ganito. So para kasi yung first time ito sa, sa gallery tsaka sa Orange Project, so Parang na-inspire ni, I think na-inspire ni yung iba na sumali or mag-join oh. at saka mag-volunteer rin. So parang pag, sinab pag sinabi mo sa mga artist na, okay, gusto nyo mag-help, you want to help sa, sa exhibit para sa fundraising, ito yung percentage pupunta. Parang wala nang hesitation automatic, okay, sali kami kasi madami tayong, ma -ano, madami tayong ma matulungan. matulungan. So, isa yun ang pinaka-importante na, no? I think na nakita ko na impact rin sa mga artist dito sa local. Kasi, ano eh, uh, parang umiba rin yung mindset mo pag ano, may mga challenges na katulad dito. Like pandemic. Uh, kasi ano, parang ano, yung feel tsaka lahat, uh, parang hindi stable ba yung, ano, yung future ng, ng art tsaka yung dito sa local na art scene. Mm -mm. Kasi ano eh, nagsastruggle na talaga yung mga artist nung hindi pa wala pang pandemic. Mm -hmm. So, pumasok yung pandemic, parang nag parang nag-worse ba? So, kailangan talaga may ano, may positive na energy mula sa sa ano, sa mga sa local art scene din dito sa Bacolod. Yes. So, yun, yun para sa para sa amin pa doon na nag-start. So, pagkatapos ng pandemic, meron kaming mga like mga events na na iba rin ng mga uh, yung sa Viva na art festival. So, nakita mo yung support ng mga artist talaga, dami kahit nas mga local dito ng mga ano. Yes. Kasi nakita nila eh, kasi nakita nila na ah okay, nag dami pa dami pa dami pa lang activity yung mga artist kahit ng pandemic. 
Dami pa silang tinulungan. So, yung impact sa community tsaka sa local artist, iba. Kasi nakita na positivity. Yes. Kahit, na may, kahit na mahirap, yung artist hindi nagsta-stop. Wala kami, wala kami, I think, itong pandemic at saka ngayon wala, wala pahinga yung mga artist dito eh. Kasi ano, dami kami activity. So, yes. hindi na namin na mamayad yung risk ng pandemic minsan. <laughs> Kasi ano eh, ano parang parang gusto mo talaga lumabas at mag-create ng activity. Sabi ni Charlie, kaya tayo ng ganito, gawa tayo ng ganyan. So sa, sa, sa amin, wala na yung risk. Parang okay na, no problem. Kasi kailangan, da, dapat, kasi para mag-move on yung ano eh, yung mga artist rin. Tsaka ano, daming, 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 ano, daming, daming kang matulungan. Like sa, like dito sa art district, Kahit sa gray room, yung sa cafe namin dito sa art district, dami kaming, ma, ano, dami kaming matulungan ng mga local at musician rin. Kasi gusto, gusto namin mag-jam sila, may income sila. So yung mga artist rin nagko-consign sila ng mga, mga foods. So nagbibenta rin kami dito ng, ng galing rin sa mga local artist. So... Da, dapat gawin mo lahat para ma ano, para yung hindi mag ano, hindi mag uh, lower yung ano yung moral ng mga yes. mga artist dito. Mm-hmm. Yun yun I think yung yung pinaka positive na impact yeah. dito sa art community dito sa art district dito sa Bacolod. So yung pag sinabi mo art district uh, para sa akin yung ano parang parang ano ba parang pupunta lahat ng Mga, may mga good vibes rin. Kasi nakita nila, okay, positive yung, yung, ano, yung takbo ng ano, community dito. So, okay. yun lang. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. And I think what is common about Art Hills and Arm Case is that you actually decided to be a solution rather than a part of the problem, right? Oh. Yes. Oh. Hmm. And at this point in time, we are already opening the floor, the virtual floor, to questions. Na? So I think we actually have one really interesting question here for RMK. Um, the person wanted to ask what the hardest challenge is that uh, RMK actually faced in the course of your initiative. Well, kasi... Ang RMK pero anay, Charles... Uh, Kasi alam naman ninyo na ang mga gamit namin napaka puro bakal yan eh. Mm-hmm. Yung kalan, uh, mga kaldero, kawa, mabibigat lahat yan, ma- mahirap dalhin. So ang isang malaking challenge dyan is yung logistics talaga. How to move that th- those equipment from one area to the, to the next. Pwedeng oh. aeroplano, pwedeng truck, pwedeng bus. Lahat nga sinubukan na namin actually. Pati kabayo, nasubukan na namin. Kalabaw, <laughs> kalabaw, sinubukan na namin. Alam mo yun, yun, ang laking challenge talaga to move that food. And to get that food, after it's cooked, to get that food to the people that need it. Kung mm. minsan, hindi na kailangan kasi nagluluto ka dun sa mismo evacuation center. Mm-hmm. Pero minsan, medyo malayo ka rin, mga 30-45 minutes away ka. Uh-oh. So yung buong process na yun, from from get pama, pamalengke ha pagluluto at saka yung pagdistribute ng food ang laking challenge lagi niyan no? so lagi mo iniisip kung kung ikaw nga yung head of mission talagang tuloy-tuloy yan nag-iisip ka na paano paano yung process na maging <coughs> smooth ang ano Mal, malaking bagay din syempre yung overcome mo yung sarili mo Yung fear mo, fear ko halimbawa sa I am responsible for how many people mm-hmm. of my team, uh, lalo na itong pandemic. How do I, uh, what are the steps that we should do uh, so that everybody is safe? So we created a list of um, procedures. Yun ay naging protocol namin for a pandemic. Paano mag-create ng isang lockdown kitchen? Um, mm-hmm. paanong hindi ka may expose uh, ng matagal at and to keep you safe no as a volunteer kasi prime primal ano primary yon na ang safety is primary uh, 
maliban sa nasa pandemic ka na, tapos may possibility pa ng, ng baha, katulad doon sa Cagayan, for example, na ang baha doon, 15 meters mm. ang taas pag pumasok. No? So, eh, yung gamit namin na sa ground floor, immediately, sa may possibility pala, inakyat namin sa second floor, dami, dami namin binuhas. Para, para safe lahat. Tapos, tumigil kami magluto for sa labas kasi hindi talaga makakayanan mm-hmm. pero uh, tinanong ako nung may ari we were at the University of Cagayan Valley and the president of the university called me and she said I am already evacuating my mm-hmm. parent uh, my father and my auntie <clears throat> we will be moving to a hotel na mas mataas so sabi niya I booked a room for you Sabi ko, nasa second floor na kami, we're okay. How about your food? Andito nga, daming pagkain. <laughs> Makakakain kami. How about your water? Ang daming distilled water dito. Kahit maligo ako sa distilled water, <coughs> pwede. So, hmm. so yung, yung ganun, you, you think about the safety of your team all the time. Whether it is a pandemic or a natural disaster. For example, the Taal volcano eruption, which was... an imminent eruption at the time na anytime it can it can erupt no and we had to we had to always be ready with an evacuation plan for mm. the volunteers okay jade my question for jade yes alex. go ahead yes oh, go ahead. alex um oh artist photographer so it really the subject even the photographs na kikita ko na talagang alex na alex so so it the, the inspiration as an artist, as a photographer, with the things that you've been seeing, uh, as, as kami, as painter, I would, I would absorb the, the things I've seen and then I, I, I do that in a painting. No? How about you? It's a, it's, it, you're in photography. So, sa, parang, the images are really inspiring for you. I mean, you know, you, you never run out of images with, with the things that you've been doing. And I and I was because I, I'm 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 asking this question because uh, we were we are in a process doing um an inspiration with what you're doing now because I also wanted this experience uh, experiment that uh, uh, the artist not just painting even in his studio but really out there um, really dealing with what's happening yung yung ni reality mm. nakikita mo na alam mo. yung ginagawa mo makatulong and you can give mm. yung, 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 yung dibdib mo talagang wow ganun pala yung impact so yung question is it really helped you also in terms of your art art making oh naman uh, hmm. thank you Charlie dun sa question ano? totoo yan uh, ang isang <coughs> early advocacy talaga namin before is up to now ini encourage namin yung mga artists whether you're a poet, writer, photographer, painter na sumama sa amin din para kung gusto mong makita yung ground zero mm. uh, pwede kang umano mag volunteer sa amin, tumulong at the same time uh, yun you, you can write about or you can be inspired by the situation ano yung paparang makatulong yung ano yung situation makita mo mismo and how, how it can uh, 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 inspire you to make a, a new artwork no so tapos sa, sa yung training ko as a photojournalist uh, <clears throat> of course nakatulong yun para dun sa logistical uh, work namin ano yung in terms of logistics as a photojournalist alam ko yung puma- paano uh, paano pumunta sa point B from point A at the straightest uh, road no possible Kasi yun yung training namin sa photojournalism, di ba? Paano ka pupunta doon sa area? And then how to take the most effective effective photograph na para ma, ma-instill mo yung katotohanan sa sa public, ano? So uh, it's very important protocol namin sa ano is to deliver photographs right away of what we're doing sa Facebook, ano? Yun yun, yun yung pinaka portal namin, ano? Uh, Dati, nasa Associated Press ako or sa Ashanti mm-hmm. Press. So alam ko yung importance ng no, uh, real-time, real-time na uh, photographs na malakas. No? So, syempre, nakakatulong yun. Ano? And of course, in photography itself, we know how how big the impact of photography is. 
dun sa telling stories no so ayun yun lang uh, malaking malaking bagay po sa humanitarian uh, agencies ang photography alam natin yan ano even even paintings and uh, poetry gina- ginagamit talaga yan sa i mean in any in any endeavor nandiyan yan so yeah we're always aware of that we're always aware of that thank you thank you to sa question child boy So Charlie, dadagdag na po no, bilang isang cultural worker, tayo as cultural mm. workers, ay ma, ma, mabilis tayong mag-network. Uh, mm. So malaking bagay yon na makapag-network agad tayo, makapag-organize agad tayo to get people to help us do do what we do. Mm. Yun. So kasi, yun, malaking bagay yun. Kasi nga yung <coughs> pag... Kasi yung isang inspiration namin sa Art Relief is yung Medicine San Frontiers, ano, which is Doctors Without Borders. Mm-hmm. Pag binasa mo yung historical ano nila, is during the late 70s, early 80s, uh, dalawa lang naman talaga ang nag-umpisa niyong Medicine San Frontier. Isang doktor at saka isang journalist. Alam mo, pumunta sila sa Africa uh, para magbigay ng medical mission. Ngayon, sabi na lang, sabi na ng doktor, kailangan mo sumama sa akin doon sa journalist. Kasi kung hindi ka sumama, walang maniniwala na nangyari yung, yung pangyayari na yun. So I need you to, you know, to report on it and take pictures. So yung, t- yung team up na yun, that was the root of, uh, of Medicine San Frontier na napakalaki na ngayon, Charlie, alam mo naman yan, yung MSF is Mm-hmm. parang kasing laki na ng uh, Red Cross and at that time ah, when, when 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 I found out about uh, Medicine Sam Frontier eh sabi ko wala nang makakaisip pa ng bago from Red Cross kasi ginagawa pero nagkaroon pa rin ng isa yung Medicine for Sam Frontier so ibig sabihin yung training ko rin yung as, a, as an artist na kailangan maging imaginative ka alam mo yon yung gamitin mo yung imagination mo, tapos walk the path na less traveled talaga o yung never been traveled. Subukan mo, tahakin mo yun, magmamalay mo kung ano. So there was a time na talagang kami, hindi na, na, hindi na kami nakikinig kahit kay Nino. Basta gawin lang natin to, tama to. Yung ganun siya. Parang art, para sa art mo, di ba? Ito, ito yung style ko eh. Kailangan kong gawin to para ma-express ko yung sarili ko. O oh, ito yung truth ko eh. Parang mm-hmm. ganun siya. No? So, malaking bagay no yung training natin, uh, namin, sa art world. Ano? Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex and Precious. And there is actually a uh, sharing here from Eileen Hernandez. She, uh, she said that, Hello, ma'am, sir. I believe the nature of your project falls under frontliners. I believe you can avail of COVID vaccines in your local government. Hopefully, it's AstraZeneca and not Sinovac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Totoo, sana. <laughs> and then there's also an interesting question here for both groups. Um, the question is, were there instances that your efforts were actually politicized? <laughs> Ah, ako, sino sasagot ako? Uh, maybe you can okay. start RTLs, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, it, it can be politicized, it can be something else. You know? there, there are so many, basta importante, mm-hmm. yung sabi ni nga na, natin, what's our truth, no? If we really deep inside, Tama. what is your intention? Mm-hmm. Intention ba? Para mag-famous ka, parang ganito? Eh, that's your problem. Mm-hmm. But I think sa amin, ang intention naman talaga is to help eh. it. It can be You know, people can say anything in the Facebook now. You know, it's, it's, you know. But you see, one, 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 I was, I was thinking of this, this, this sharing. You no, know. during pandemic, you know, I've seen these two ships, white ships in the states. No, um, yung, yung Mercy, yung isang puti, puting barko, oh. na 1,000 bed, di ba? So oh. because why not change that, the, the thinking? No, build a build a fleet of all these white ships with red with red cross and go all, all over the world and try to go to africa or anywhere anywhere you know don't don't build battleships build white ships no i think that that one thing i said you know you know during this pandemic 
you don't need arms. You only need this mask, this PPE. Uh -huh. And you need hospitals. So oh. put the money in white ships, make a hundred white ships, get it all over the world and on and all. And we will tag along, we'll do some exhibition and then we we'll feed food. You know? <laughs> so that those things and, and, and yeah. realize, why not? No, why not? And then this what Earth are. So because you can clean the world in, in pandemic, no no cars for one mm. month, two months, kitam blue sky. Mm. So many things and you know. We observe many things. No? Wow, pandemic pala. We can stop the, all this pollution. For one month, two months, you can see the blue sky in Manila or somewhere in China. You know? So those two things, I want to share this. Make a thousand ships, white ships, thousand beds per boat, per ship. Go all over the world. We saw the problem. See, that's a possibility. Just rethinking the world, no? Yes, thank you, Chan. <clears throat> and maybe we can have an answer from RMK as well. Oh. Were there instances wherein parang na politika yung effort nyo? Oh, pero yung katulad nga ng sinabi ni, ni Charlie, na malinis ang kaloba namin, ano? Pure yung ano namin, na talagang gusto lang namin magpakain. Ngayon, isipin mo, no? Halos lahat na ng mga, ano, na, nag-network kami, Halos lahat na, na nag-link up na kami, LGU, sa Marines, sa individuals sa na, Air Force. Nag, sa Air Force, nag, lahat yan, nakikita lang nila maganda itong ginagawa nito mga tao na to. Kahit sabi mo, mm. lagyan natin ng kulay o may kulay sila, we don't care. Uh, mm. Gusto lang magpakain talaga ng mga nagugutom itong mga to. So pinapapasok kami and then we, we become good friends ano? and then we understand mm. each other. No, mm. uh, we, we understand where we're coming from, and then mm. uh, mutual respect, lang. Ano? Uh, of course, we will draw the line sa sa people that will uh, directly use us for political purposes. Ano? Uh, may mga ano naring kami na hindi kami pumayag, hindi kami mm. pumayag na magkumuha ng funding from let's say mining companies uh, hindi kami there was an offer ng malaking offer hindi ko tinanggap uh, dahil uh, that goes over over the line of uh, what i can bear ano? uh, and then of course may mga ano rin uh, eh ako naman hindi naman ako magsasalot na Heil Hitler o magpi-peace bump ako whatever na ano i will stand as an individual uh, arm k will stand as an individual uh, organization. Yun lang po. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, yung isang attendee natin is actually curious to know whether the beneficiaries of RMK actually realize that this is an artist initiative. Alam ba nila na artist kayo? Uh, <laughs> Alam ba nila? <laughs> Actually, kuminsan, sa totoo lang, kuminsan wala kami dalang poster, ganyan. Wala kami dalang ganyan. <laughs> Tapos yung bago kumain, yung bago kumain, sir, baka gusto nyo muna mag-program. Ay, hindi na ho, kumain na ho tayo. Wala lang mga program-program. <laughs> May mga thank you, thank you, governor, ganon. Ay, wala na. Ay, you know, they're always expecting na there's a catch, parang ganon, or hindi. Yeah. I think I think you know they they realize at the end of a mission, for example, or during a mission that they're working with real human beings. I mean, more than anything else, it's just us being humans and helping out other humans. And, and in the end, they see how equal we are. That the the giver is the same as the receiver. Parang ganon lang. Oo, walang walang difference yun. At nakita rin nila na nakatulong din sila nakachap sila ganyan so it makes it empowers people as well eh talaga ang arm case a non-partisan organization talaga hindi kami wala kaming kinakampihan na ano if there is a need to feed people we will feed them pag good nagugutom sila papakain nila ano. okay thank you very much and we also have a question here for our tales how are you able to recognize the needs of the community and how did you plan out the different waves of art hills? Was this actually, you know, planned ahead together or it just developed as it yeah, went? Natural. 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 
Oh, yeah. It's an organic growth, no? Yeah. Yeah. Basta again, the idea here is we're, help. we're trying to help. Oh, oh. We cannot solve problems. We can never solve problems. If, if, if um, should have Alex feed a thousand, there will be another thousand people who needs food. Yes. It's never ending. Yeah. We just have to share, just have to do what we can do, no? I think very important. Sure. Yung sa loob natin, ito talaga yung gusto natin, gawin natin. But there, the needs here is so much. There's so much needs in our in our in our time. Ang dami, ang dami. Parang endless. You know, we have endless solution, but we have endless problems. It's endless. Basta I think humanity ang nanjan parin tayo. Na kahit ano kahit ka ano na yung ka advance yung mundo. Yung 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 ano natin yung puso natin yung pagkatao natin na diyan pa. Hmm. Yung humanity na din na diyan pa. Very hard yan ha sa itong time sa Facebook, yeah. sa social media, ah walang siraan lahat, hmm. wala ganito, wala wala. Then 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 you go back to your reality now. I can do something within my own community. That's it. That's it, no? I cannot solve the problem. Um yung mundo, wala ang daming problema yung mundo. Yung mundo ko lang kung pwede ko ma-change in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an inch. That's it. Yes. So meaning being a part of the solution rather than the problem pa rin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to, we just have to do that, no? Mm -mm. We just have to do that. Okay. Thank Other you, Carl. Yeah, sige. And, uh, well, here is another question for RMK. I think some of these have been answered, but you might want to add. It is notable how RMK has reached most of the country through the years. What do you think makes art initiatives go this far? What were the primary driving forces of your organization? Ah, uh, kasi una muna yung paradigm na pinalitan namin from dry goods ano yung uh, the usual bigas, sardinas at saka noodles. Mm. I think that was a very attractive, ano, uh, attractive uh, come on for for everybody, you know. The movement uh, was just in time. It was just there in that time when there was a food revolution. There was Tony Bourdain. There was a uh, whoever Food Network, ganyan. Lumalabas talaga yung pagka foodie na mga tao. It was uh, it was just there at the right time then. Na, uh, hot meals for uh, relief operations is a do doable thing. No? So, na tempo talaga. Na mm -mm. Mm -hmm. uh, yun lang, yun lang siguro. Tapos, uh, ano pa yung isang question? Uh, ano daw yung, ano, yung motivation or um, the driving force ng organization nyo? Yung people look at us, well, una kasi... Uh, we've proven ourselves over the years, no? Uh, nakita naman nila yung ginagawa namin. Pangalawa, uh, yung, yung, yung work ni Alex sa uh, photography, and a lot of our, our, our photographs were taken by Alex from, from day one, uh, showed the truth uh, kung ano yung nangyayari on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then when, when those pictures, and the pictures are really compelling, no? Uh, people see it and then they call us. They start calling us. So, malaking bagay yung yung photography sa ginagawa namin to, to give us work. Again, I mean, malaking bagay yung words. Words that we use when we make uh, calls for donations, when we explain what the situation is in a community. Ma importante din yung words na, na ginagamit natin. So, yung text at saka yung, yung images. Uh, malaking bagay yon when we do. And of course, when we distribute it, we distribute it to Facebook who our network of friends, mostly our artists, who distribute it to their network as well. So, kaya malaking, maraming artists din ang tumutulong sa Art Week Mobile Kitchen. Maging yung mga patron ng artists ay yes. tumutulong sa Art Week Mobile Kitchen. So, grab, grab all isang per, ang, ang isang personal motivation ko, of course, is Mahilig ako kumain talaga. Tsaka mahilig ako magpakain ng tao. Ng maraming tao. You know? Lagi nga nagre-reklamo rito, sumobra na naman yung luto mo, Pops. Diba? Ang dami po linuto. Eh, sabi ko, eh, pamigay natin. Diba? Kasi amazing din na nakikita nila yung litrato ng, say, um, 
mainit na na tinolang manok. Yan. So, yun yung relief nila. Yun yung relief ng mga tao na tumatanggap sila ng mainit na tinolang manok na umuusok pa. Tapos pagkuha nila dun sa bowl nila, makikit ma- instant when the with the aroma of the tinolang manok, maamoy nila yan. Instant ang ngiti. So that smile is so natural. It's so truthful. You take that picture and that's the picture ako, that catches the eye. Of ako, pag nakakita mo yung, ano, yung mga tao na hindi kumakain for three days, puro sardinas, kumakain yeah. for three days. Pag humihigap na mainit na sabaw, parang okay. nakikita mo mula sa isang skinny, parang nagiging hot talaga, lumalakas na, na nakikita mo yung lakas mo, pasok sa mga tuhod mo na eh. Talagang ma- once na nakita mo na yun, ako, ako ha, ne, lagi na lang, when we serve our first meal of the first mission, naiiyak talaga ako, naiiyak ako. You see comfort eh. You see that bumabalik yung comfort sa kanila. May relief talaga. May ginhawa na nararamdaman sa yung, pagkain ng mainit na pagkain. Yun yung motivation na malaking malaki sa akin. At, sa amin. At mm. kami rin kasi importante sa amin na ang sinaserve namin sa isang uh, evacuation situation ay food. Is food that we serve at home as ourselves. We serve it to our family. We serve it to our guests. So that kind of food is the food that we serve to other people in evacuation situations. Okay, thank you. That's really wonderful to hear. And Charles, um, here is a question that is almost like the same question you asked Alex. But for the three of you now, what is the effect of this initiative to your own artworks? It feeds the soul. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What's happening? It feeds the soul. You know. I'm human. I can feel. I, you know, that, that is for me important. Uh, yung passion is always been there. I mean, the passion for, to help, the passion to, you know, uh, just like Alex said, no? Uh, naluto, mahilig magluto eh. Passion niya yun eh. Ako, passion ko rin yun eh. Passion ko rin magtulong, you know. Eh, at during that time, siguro, kailangan ko ng tulong. Marami na nang tulong sa akin. So, ganun lang yan yung mundo. Ano na, ikot-ikot lang. Oo. So, ikaw, Yabar, anong effects na si mo artworks? Sa, sa, art, sa artwork, sa personal? You mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, ang impact si mo work? Uh, para sa ako nyo, do, pa, pa, parang positive yung ano. Pa, yung outlook mo rin ba sa... sa sa, sa world ngayon. Tapos yung ano, yung para sa akin, parang parang nat- natural na, na effect rin yun eh. Kung ano na yung makikita mo, yun yung lumalabas sa work mo. Hmm. Uh, yun know. Tapos isa pa, isa pa yung ano, yung maganda kasi dito na naman sa sa art community to sa Bacolog, sa Orange at saka sa art district, malakas yung ano eh, kumaradere at saka yung ano, yung volunteerism. Yes. Yung, yung parang yung, na- yung nature ng ano, yung nature ng mga artist dito parang pag in terms of volunteerism parang parang strong strong kasi yung ano eh, yung yung bonding ng mga artist dito sa gallery. So that's why isa yung sa pinaka ano namin, strong na factor rin. Mm-hmm. So yung effect sa yung effect sa community kasi ano nang kung ano yung binibigay mo energy yun rin yung matatanggap mo so para para sa amin parang start parang this is a start pa lang kasi para sa orange gallery so i think dami dami pa mga plano na kailangan rin ng ano ng support from like sa group nila ni Alex sa kailangan namin kailangan rin namin yung inputs rin para sa future rin na ano so no, no, no. mga plano rin Okay. So, I think, I think, I think, ano, it's a good start rin sa para sa amin dito kasi we are new rin sa, ano, eh, sa mga ganitong, ano, mga field work. So, uh, actually, actually, uh, sa Visayas kasi wala pa kaming base. Dati may base kami sa Tacloban. Oh, pero ngayon, oh. parang hindi na namin na, na ano, so, di ba, parang, 
iniisip din namin paano kami magkakabase sa diyan sa inyo. Pwede ano ilalayan niyo lang yung helicopter niyo, meron kami helicopter, helipad dito. Now we were also thinking about it uh, uh, as Barry said. We were, we are already been thinking about it last year pa about this uh, art kitchen no uh, oh. we'll do that's why we, we want to contact you also help, the, help us do the detail maybe if you want to yung base there's no problem we have a base na here yeah, po. No? Yeah. And we, we also wanted to do that no mm. in a way uh, that the artist would be also um, rooted siya uh, nagpipinta siya pero alam ng that what is really happening mm-hmm. no but i know when i look at your your work it's it's really the passion and um na I mean you know, the, the great ideas if there's no no sustainability wala eh hmm. so yung nakikita ko sa inyo sa mapa pa lang from apari to <laughs> to minda to uh, hulo batanes that, that, <laughs> batanes from batanes you know from there to it it's 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 no ordinary ordinary task now if you are doing that and in 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 constantly physically there mm. it's not easy oh. the idea maybe start away oh, we like that also we want to no 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 it's not easy <laughs> it's a commitment man mm. it's a commitment na we like like you 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 guys had the commitment is there mm. and it's not easy that that road is seldom uh, for for artists to make maybe an idea goes for there pero to sustain that to sustain that for months and years hmm. and to yeah. stay on the ground in Marawi for a month or anywhere in the in a, in um in a calamity zone is something else so hmm. what we want wanted the uh, precious alex also if we want to do this also we want to collaborate with you hmm. because a, anything can happen you know calamity can happen and you already have the big uh, kawa you know it, <laughs> Hey, artist, stop painting. Let's do. There's a calamity, no? We don't know, and calamity always happens, no? And in in the most unexpected ways, no? We wanted to start something with that already. We are we we did um. Your plan. We already had an uh, um. We 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 apply for a grant for that I for that alone, mm-hmm. because I wanted our other uh, artists to be really on the ground. We are should be on the ground. Very good. And then, on a little experience yeah. what's really happening not just shouting or painting something fantasizing something but this one is really yeah. amen oh, yeah. like, like you said yeah. huh. yung mainit na sabaw diba? <laughs> and then that mainit na sabaw it turned into a painting that is immortalized because of that experience that's what I wanted our artists to have yeah. so let's collaborate base wala ka na problema ng base no sa Bisaya <laughs> <laughs> and also guys it's a uh, it's nice to, it's nice to work with fellow artists eh. hmm. iba eh. iba yung, ano iba yung, i mean i mean i mean iba yung ano iba yung way of thinking, iba yung approach ba oh iba tama yung, iba tama yung, yung, yung ano iba yung, iba yung decision making hmm. kapag uh, this iba eh. so walang politics ba i mean yes yung trabaho lang yung ganun Tama. Gusto mo so gusto mo rin mag-help, okay, collab tayo, parang ganun lang. Wala nang ano, wala nang iba, wala nang mga dami pang ano. Uh, yeah. I think this is a this is a very nice way to actually conclude this particular discourse, the promise of collaboration, no? Yeah. The promise of that soup for Visayas in times of calamity. So maybe we can just hear a last word from both parties. Uh, your words of wisdom for our virtual audience. Words of wisdom. Mm-hmm. Words of wisdom. Okay, nasubukan natin. <laughs> uh, since, uh, no, since uh, Yolanda, I think that was the uh, parang alarm bells na yun. Uh, that, that's the alarm bell na kailangan na natin maghanda lagi. We should always be prepared for the worst. No? Kasi para tayong bullseye sa, sa mga typhoon every year. Tapos alam natin na lumalakas na lumalakas yung mga bagyo. Sobrang lakas dahil sa climate change. Kaya dapat lagi tayong nakahanda. No? Tapos uh, alam mo naman na uh, parang bumbero yan eh. Uh, 
you don't think about firemen or firehouses when there's no fire. Yeah. But when, pag nagkasunog na, nako, bombero, asa ni bombero. Ganyan, ganyan eh, kailangan nakahanda ka habang wala pa, uh, ready ka, no? on alert ka. Kami eh, dito sa bahay, kami ni Precious, may pumapasok lang na low pressure area. Minomonitor agad namin yan, minomonitor namin. May konting bakbakan sa isang lugar, minomonitor na namin. Ready kami talaga mag-respond all the time. Eight years na, mag eight years na kami. Ganyan yung buhay po, na, ganyan po yung buhay namin talaga eh. Uh, na ano na namin uh, it's part of our life already pati yung mga anak namin alam ay, aalis na naman kayo <laughs> mag-iwan kayo pang grocery namin ha? Yung ganun. Yung, alam mo yun so, it's, it's part of our life our neighbors know what we do so, uh, ano lang uh, maghanda lang tapos tulong-tulong lang po tayo tulong-tulong lang makakaraos tayo sa mga mahirap na panahon ayos Okay, and the group of Charlie also. Same. Wisdom full. Uh, uh, basta we will, we will collaborate and let's... let's uh, ano, ano sabi ko ngayon? We cannot solve the world's problem buong mundo. No? We can only solve what we can... What we are... Yung kaya natin. No? We, are, we, don't, we don't really... You know, uh, we we're not here to say we're going to save the world. No, no, no. We're just here as human beings and we can do something about it simply. Let's just do it, no? Parang sa Nike, no? Just do it. Uh, I think, ano yan, um, uh, that's, uh, ano, pa, pataba ng puso. Um, to, to, ano, yeah. Hot soup! <laughs> no, Alex? Hot soup with the, hot with soup, the beautiful pare. eyes. Hot uh, soup. Yun, 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 yun na yun. Oh. You capture that moment, bang! That's it. Yes. You will never forget that. Mm. And you want that to happen every day. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much to Precious Nieto and Alex Maloyot from Art Relief Mobile Kitchen and Charlie Co, Roderick Tehing and Barry Cervantes from Art Heels. This has been a truly inspiring discourse and I hope that these um, initiatives are going to continue. No? So we would like to brief you on the next um, Vcon 2 topic. So if we can show them, Eads. Um, for the month of February, please book your Saturday already because we have Saturdays every Saturday at 10 a.m. And for February 6, it's going to be the Curator's Converse again. And we are going to talk about the art market as well, prospects for Visayan artists. And on February 13, um, it's called Artist Explore, but this is also a seminar on the possible exhibition Node 2 already of our um, Viva XCon Dasson exhibition. So this time we are going to be focusing on the artist, intimacies and communities of practices. Okay, so at this point in time, I would like to give you to Manny Monteliboni again for um, our extra. Hi, Manny. Hi. Uh, thank you, Precious and Alex, um, Charlie, um, Roderick, and Barry. Um, this is a happy morning. You know, it's really a wonderful morning for everyone with the cool weather and um, interesting topics that people can do so much actually individually and collectively to, to um, uplift the lives of our fellow men and our communities, you know? especially our, uh, as artists. You know? So we, we, we um, take part in uh, as um, um, the upliftment of lives in our communities. So um, um, I would like to thank you everyone um, the participants in this uh, VCon, and we'll be celebrating um, um, the Arts Month um, this February. It's a National Arts Month, so some of our uh, videos that were pre-recorded uh, that were recorded during VCon One will have links to the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, and um, you can actually take a look at the YouTube of uh, Viva. Um, XCON organization and um, um, also at the same time we'll be featuring um, 
um, the Just Fest that was um, two years back, and some um, launch of uh, videos of music videos from local artists. So as much as possible, we want to cover also uh, different disciplines um, that are continuing and struggling through the, in these times. No? Um, so thank you very much. And um, I wish you um, all the best, all the luck in your um, endeavors and in your activities. And um, we hope to see you on our next uh, VCON session. Thank you very much and have a good afternoon. Thank you, everyone. And Padayon, keep on. Ang mga uwak gahulat sang akon kamatayon di on nga baguhon ang banas sang panglakaton numan ang madangtan sa pinili ko nga dalan kabay nga hindi pa uli. Nga alagian ang talag ko nga talang talang nag talang talang nga talang talang dapat dapat naga patayon sa panglakaton kui ining mga bukat nga dalalon sa imo paminsaro. Ining mga buhat nga dalal mo, nga dalal mo, nga dalal mo. Dali na kay mai mo ta sa bago nga kalibutan ako na migo buk ma ang hari sa duta ray na kalibayan ako nga abian. Sa katawhan ang imong nga nabalpan 
ang kaalam naging bungkal sa kadutaan ipalaplag mo sa hangin ang unod sining sugilanon para mga tubang hangkat sang henerasyon tanga mga katauhan nagtuhaw sa kadutaan ibalik ta ang balanse sang kalibutan Pagitait yara sa imo kagyara man sa mo. Ah, ah.